In this video, I will show you how to make the simple short circuit protection. Currently, I am working on a DIY 12V lab bench power supply in which I want to add a short circuit protection as a safety measure. And after doing some research on the internet, I found this simple circuit that uses relay as its main component to open the circuit if a short circuit occurs. The lab bench power supply that I am making will have a maximum output of 100 watts, which is 8.5 ampere at 12 volts. So I choose this relay which can handle 10 ampere at 24 volts and require 6 volts to operate. If you are making this circuit, I recommend you select the relay properly according to your power rating as overcurrent can weld the contacts of the relay causing the circuit to fail. As the primary component in this circuit is a relay, so the working is straightforward. Initially when the circuit is off, the common pin is connected to the normally closed pin. The moment this button is pressed, the coil inside the relay gets magnetized and the common pin gets connected to the normally open pin which is also connected to pin 2. So even if the button is not pressed, the coil remains magnetized and we get the power at the output. The circuit works normally if there is no short circuit at the output. The moment short circuit occurs, the potential difference at the coil becomes zero, which demagnetizes the coil and the common pin breaks its connection with the normally open pin, which prevents the short circuit. The relay I am using only needs 6 volts at the coil, so I had to make some changes to this circuit and added a register in the series with a coil of appropriate resistance, which I calculated after finding the coil data from the datasheet. I also added a flyback diode which prevents huge voltage spikes from arising when the power supply is disconnected. After gathering all the components, I tested the circuit on the breadboard which worked as planned. Then I assembled the circuit on the perf board which took about half an hour. And as you can see after conducting some tests, this circuit prevents short circuit. If you want to make this circuit, all the project file are in description below. And if you learned something new, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.